Greetings. Thanks, everybody. All right. I've got an, this is what I'm going to present to you today is what I've learned over 27 years. It's simple. It makes sense. You put it into action over time to transform your life. I first got wind of really all of this information. I was very lucky, got into raw foods in 1994. And I was right down the road from the Price Pottinger Nutrition Foundation right there in San Diego. So they had a little office. I mean, it was really more than an office. It was like a library right there in Mission Gore. It wasn't Mission Gore, Mission Valley. And you could walk in there. And I actually met my first assistant there, actually, Diane Onstad. And you could, you could go in there and just have peruse the books. And they had the most amazing collection of books. In fact, I've been very envious of that collection and have been going through my own collection that was doing that last night till about five or six in the morning of raw food books, superfood books, the old timer stuff, stuff written in the 1850s, stuff written over 120 years ago, just a phenomenal collection of stuff. I found one of my favorite little booklets, which is Fruitarian Diet and Physical Rejuvenation last night. That was really great. Anyway, when I started there, I got into parasitology. I was able to tap into Hannah Kruger's information. I got into Herbert Shelton and natural hygiene and started looking into, okay, what's the, what's the broader spectrum? What's going on with indigenous diets? What's going on in the Amazon? And eventually worked my way into the herbalism of the Amazon and the herbalism of Taoism and the herbalism of Ayurveda and the herbalism of Africa and the herbalism of ancient Europe and the herbalism of North America and all of those things. So I'm going to, basically bring that all together in a cohesive way, essentially like a book in the next 90 minutes. And that will be a, a great strategy. It'll be a great way to, to help you shortcut. There's a strategy to help you shortcut the learning curve because it took me all these years, 27 years to learn all this stuff and then put it into action. So let's just get to step one. And this is something that, again, back in the Price Pottinger Nutrition Foundation there in San Diego in Mission Valley, they had Dr. Jensen's books, Dr. Bernard Jensen. And his whole piece on bowel cleansing eventually got me into doing a colonic. I went to see, oh, what was her name? Oh, she had a book out too. She was in San Diego. It's right on the tip of my tongue. And I went to get a colonic with her. It was my first, Milan Chessman, that was her name. And um, I went to get my first colonic way back then in 1994. And that started me out into bowel cleansing. Now, th this, this is the bottom of the barrel. This is the root chakra. This is the bathtub plug. And if we don't pull that plug out and drain all that water out and, and go through that beginning of that detoxification cycle, all the other stuff we throw on top will be less than ideally effective. That's such an important piece. I, I really have to emphasize that tremendously is that if you don't do the bowel cleansing, the other stuff, it just doesn't make as much sense. Now you're going to go, wait a second. I, I've never done a colonic. Wait. It's, a, it's exit only. Hold on a second. Um, what about, I, I can't do an enema. And see, all of these things are uh, on the assumption, and it's an absurd assumption, that your body is 100% efficient at eliminating waste, right? So, for example, the Essene Gospels, which also I ran into way back then in uh, the Price Pottinger Nutrition Foundation, eventually sold many thousands, tens of thousands probably of those books, from the from Edmund Bordeaux's AK. And I think it was in the first book, actually, the Essene Gospel of Peace, book one, he talks about in there, um, Jesus in, instructing the, his disciples to clean their hinder parts, basically clean their bowels out. Now, again, everyone goes, no, 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 it's exit only, it's exit only. And again, we're on this assumption that the body's 100% efficient. Nothing in nature is 100% efficient. There isn't anything in the world that's 100% efficient. And so the research on aging, to my mind, is, is conclusive. And I know this from the charcoal research. The more you take activated charcoal in your lifetime, especially any mammal, and actually any reptile, pretty much any, even plants, if you, if you plant the tree with, with charcoal, it'll live longer. They all live longer and, and astoundingly longer. In fact, activated charcoal is the number one longevity substance, according to science, ever. You never heard that, I bet. Um, but what does that tell us? I want to get to the point of what that's telling us. It's telling us that really the, th the theory that metabolic problems in detoxification is the actual cause of aging. And it's the actual cause of us getting out of here early and inflammation and goes on and on and on and on. Basically bathing in your own waste. Again, you know, the bowel cleanse, you know, no, I have four bowel movements a day. Let me tell you something. I just did a 21 day cleanse. 
I just did a seven day water fast. I ended the water fast by driving all the way from Austin to the Houston area and doing a colonic. I was doing enemas every day, include coffee enemas, all kinds of um, enemas every day, all the way through that water fast. I go and do the colonic. I could not believe actually what came out of me. Now, this is years and years. I've done hundreds of colonics. I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this 27 years. I couldn't believe it, actually. I was like, my God, I, I, what? This is crazy. So I know there's the neuro neurosis that's like, oh, no, 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 exit only. Oh, no, 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 no. My body gets a waste out. Oh, no, no, no. I have three bowel movements a day. Oh, no, no, no. Two bowel movements a day. It's not enough. You're, you're backing up in your own waste inevitably. That is the reality. And I know it's a harsh one to take for some people. Some people go, yeah, it's obvious, of course. Um, but for other people, they just caught up in this thing. I'm like, no, 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 I'm eliminating every day. I eliminated every day when I was on that water fast. I did 21, I did 14 days of cleansing and 21 days leading up to that third colonic on that cleanse. I couldn't believe it. After all these years, more and more stuff coming out. I've had incidences like in 2020, I did five water fasts. And on one of them on day, it was late in the, it might've been day four. I think it was day four in the water fast. There was three of us on that particular one. We ended up going eight days on that particular water fast. And uh, on one of those on day four, I went to the colon, I went to get a colonic and this woman who's doing the colonic, she's like, you're not going anywhere. We're getting this all out. 90 minutes of stuff coming out. 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes. I'm, it's not like I'm eating a lot of food. It's not, I mean, I'm six foot, 200 pounds. It's not like I'm, I have, you know, it's, I've been six foot, 200 pounds for 20 years. It's crazy. So this is just showing us that it's backed up waste is the number one step to developing invincible immunity. Okay. So I'll come back to it and I'll harp on it again and again and again. Um, because it's such an important tool. Now, once we pull the black bathtub plug out, now that can be done in several ways. One is, yes, you could do the colonics and enemas. Maybe you want to start with enemas and just get into it slowly. I'd recommend doing those enemas in a shower or in a bathtub. I'm telling you by experience. But once we, or, or maybe you're going to do something that's a really good laxative for you. Like, for example, here's my aloe vera. It's in the other room. I like aloe vera. Aloe vera is an amazing laxative for me. I absolutely love aloe vera as a laxative for me personally. So I'll, I'll fillet out the gel, just like you fillet a fish, right? I don't eat fish, but you would fillet the skin off. And that inner gel, you just throw in a blender and you blend it with orange juice or what your favorite things are your favorite blended stuff. And you just drink that. It has really no taste. If you blend it into a smoothie, you won't really taste the aloe, but it can have a very strong laxative effect on you. So we're going to work it both ways. We're going to open up the, we're going to pull the plug out and we're going to get some laxative type of material in. not every day, but when we're doing cleansing. And I've recommended, I talked with, uh, you probably saw that talk with Dr. Cousins and Dr. Pai, especially Dr. Cousins. We're really into cleansing and we were into cleansing for a year. I really recommend that. Now, if you're a newbie, do two a year because, you know, you're new and you got to get used to it. But if you're really, if you've been at it a long time like I have, it's four times a year. And that's what I need at age 50 to keep the inflammation down. I mean, just driving the other day, four hours, when I first got on that call with uh, Dr. Pai and, and uh, Dr. Cousins, I was inflamed just from sitting for four hours. It's not like when you're 28 years old or 23 years old. It takes an hour or two to finally like de-inflame from just sitting and, and that's how long it took actually after that drive. You know, imagine the day before that I was doing 15 hours of driving. So these things catch up on you and your body's not as, as responsive as it was when you're 21 or 28 or 32 or 33 when you're 50. And then I'm sure when we get to 60 and 70, it's less responsive again. So you have to keep working on these things and cleansing is a way for me to reset. And that's what I want to recommend for you is a way for you to reset, get back to your core self, who you really are, and then reset for the next three months and then boom, then another cleanse comes up.